Hey everyone, welcome back. Now in this video, let's try to solve one more real SQL interview problem. Now this problem was asked by a product based company. It was shared to me by one of my subscribers called Tarun and he had emailed me this problem. Now if you are beginner in SQL, this problem might seem a little complicated but actually this is a very simple problem with a very simple solution. So let's straight away get into the problem and try to solve it. Okay, so as you can see, the problem statement is actually pretty straightforward. We have been given a input table and we are expected to write a query which is going to return the output as shown here. Now, when we look at the input, we can see that we have two columns. So there is an ID and there is a name. So this is some information about some employees. So we can see we have eight different records. So there is ID one and employee one and same way for all the other eight employees. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to kind of come up with an output like this. Okay. So there are two things that is happening here. The first thing is you see here we have one space employee one then comma two space employee two. So what this means is first of all they are actually trying to concatenate ID and name together with a space in between. That's one thing. The second thing is they are merging the two records together and putting them into a single column. Right. So employee one and employee two are merged together and displayed as one row right under one column and then employee three and four are merged together and displayed as one column and then employee five and six are merged together and displayed here and finally employee seven and eight are also merged together and displayed here. Now whenever I look at a problem the first thing that I try to do is once I have understood the problem statement the requirement and the input data I try to figure out what concept of SQL can I apply to come up with a output as expected. In this particular case, even before I can come up with a solution, I need to understand what exactly are the different things that I need to do and here I can see that there are two different things that I need to do in my query. The first thing that I can pretty easily tell is that I need to somehow find a way to convert row level data into a column level data and not into multiple columns but into a single columns and comma separated values. Right. So that is one thing that I need to do. And when I think I can easily do this kind of transformation that is multiple rows into a single column by using inbuilt functions that are almost available in all RDBMS. Okay. Now this particular problem was asked to be solved using Microsoft SQL Server, but I will be solving it here using PostgreSQL. But the thing is, I'm going to be giving you solution uh, in all the RDBMS. Okay, so let's say if I'm using PostgreSQL or let's say in Microsoft SQL Server, what is that function that I can use to convert row level data into a single column with comma separated value? Maybe you guys can think. Okay, and actually the answer is we have a function called as string aggregate, right? String underscore AGG. Okay, we can use that function to basically merge multiple rows into a single column in comma separated values. Okay, so I think we can easily do that transformation using string aggregate function. Okay, that's one thing. The second thing that we need to do is when we are doing this uh, aggregation or kind of like merging of multiple rows into a single column, we are actually not merging all the eight rows into a single column, right? We are first of all dividing these eight rows into kind of like four different uh, sections, right? The first two employees will form the first row in the result. The next two employees that is employee three and four will form the second row and then five and six gets merged together and then seven and eight gets merged together. Okay. Now in SQL, how do we do this? Right. That is we need to kind of put the first two employees into one bucket, then the three and four employee into the second bucket. Then I create a third bucket where I put the employees five and six and then I create another bucket where I put the employees seven and eight. So in other words, I need to kind of create four buckets and in each bucket, I need to put two employees. Can you think of any function or functionality in SQL with which we can easily do this? And actually the answer is we have a window function called as entile with which we can pretty easily do this, right? So let's try to solve this problem using the entile window function and the string aggregate inbuilt function. Okay, so let's go back to my PostgreSQL. I'm going to be solving it in PostgreSQL, but the solution will also work in Microsoft SQL Server. And for other RDBMS, I'm going to be giving you a solution in my blog. Okay, so definitely check out the blog for the data set, the solutions and everything. Okay, let's try to solve this problem. You can see that I have created the employee underscore input table as you can see here. Now the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to create four buckets and under each bucket, I'm going to put two employees each. Okay, now in order to create this bucket, I'm going to be using the window function. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to say entile. Okay, and this entile window function will accept a argument and the argument is you need to tell how many buckets SQL needs to create. 
right? So here I know that I need to create four buckets. So I'm just going to put four. Okay. So what this entire function will do is now, first of all, if you are not clear about entire function or any other window function, I have made dedicated tutorial video on all the window functions. So I'll try to leave the link somewhere here or in the video description. So definitely check that out if you need to understand how entire actually works. Okay. But in the most simplest of terms, what entire does is depending on how many records are present in your result set, that is from this particular query, how many records will get returned, it will try to equally split the number of records based on how many buckets you have mentioned here. Under each bucket, it will try to allocate equal number of records as much as possible. Okay, so here when I say n tile 4, it's going to create four buckets and under each bucket, it's going to allocate two records. Now, since it's a window function, I also need to use the over clause. And here I'm just going to say order by ID column. And let's say I'm going to name this column like let's say buckets. Okay, if I run this, now you can see that I have created four buckets. Okay, so there is bucket one, bucket two, bucket three and bucket four. And you can see that all the eight records are equally distributed into each of these four buckets. So now we have basically done the first part that is we have created four groups or four buckets with two employees each, right? The next thing is we kind of need to merge together each employees which belong to the same bucket. Now to do that, I'm going to be using the string aggregate inbuilt function. Okay. So what I will do is I'll try to put this entire query into a CTE. So I'm just going to say with CTE as, and I'll move this to the right. And here I'll just put this into the parenthesis. Okay, and here I'll write my outer query. So select star from CTE. And since I need to merge the employees or the records which belong to the same buckets into a single record, what I'll do is I'll try to group the data based on each of these buckets. So for each unique bucket, one group will be created. And within that group, you will see that there will be two records. And these two records, I'll try to merge together using the string aggregate function. So first of all, I need to do a group by. So I'm just going to say group by I'll say buckets. Okay, that's the first thing. And here I need to merge the employees, right? But first of all, you can see here I have two different columns, ID and name. But if I go back to my output, you can see that I only have one column, right? So the ID and name are actually concatenated together and there is a space in between. So first of all, let's try to do that here instead of displaying star, I'm just going to say concat and here I'll say ID and I'll leave a space. Okay, and here I'll say name. Okay. And this whole thing, let's say I'm just going to call it like name. Okay. And now let's say I'm just going to run this. Okay. Excluding the group by and now if I run, you can see that now the ID and name are merged together. Okay. This is exactly how I want it in my output. Right. So if I go back here, now the next thing that I need to do is I need to use the string aggregate function. So I'm just going to say string underscore aggregate. Okay. It will accept two arguments. The first argument is the column itself. And the second argument is what is a separator, right? I'm just going to say you need to separate each of those values using a comma and a space. And I'm going to name this entire thing as let's say final result. Before I run this entire query, let me just run only this much. Okay, so that you see what happens if I did not use group by so if I run this now, now you can see that since I did not group the data based on each unique bucket, the entire eight records were merged together into a single column. And there is a comma and a space in between each of these values as you can see here. Okay, but what I want in my output is I want only the first two employees in one record, then the next two employees in the next record, etc. And that I can determine using my bucket. And that is why I'm going to do a group by buckets and run this entire thing again. Okay, so now when I run this, now you can see that this is the exact output I want. Maybe the order is not properly sorted. So I'm just going to say order by one, okay, or this particular column. So if I run this, now you can see that I am getting the output exactly how I want it. So employee one and two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight, exactly what I wanted. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have other solutions to the same problem, which I'm sure many of you guys already have, definitely share your solution in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one. Bye.